In our previous video, we downloaded and installed Eclipse and the Java JDK and JRE. Uh, we could go through and start making an application now, but the trick is we don't have a server yet. So in this video, we're going to download a server. So I'm going to go to uh, tomcat.apache.org and I'm going to choose to download Tomcat version 8. And let's see. Um, a 62-bit Windows zip will be fine. So I'll go ahead and click on this one. And naturally this will take a few moments to download, so I'll let it, I'll let it uh, download and I'll pause the video. Now that it's downloaded, I'm going to choose Open, and we see Apache Tomcat 8024. Now, this is in a zip file. Just like Eclipse, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it out to the C drive. So Windows key E, and my C drive. We'll go ahead and paste this right to root, because this is one we're going to access frequently. Now, I am going to shorten the folder name once it pastes. We'll give it just a few moments here to paste. At this point, Tomcat is unzipped. Uh, a warning is that it takes a long time to copy files on the virtual machine. Not sure why, but it does. So uh, if you're planning to do this, make sure and make the appropriate plans. Now, that's a long name. I'm going to just shorten it to Tomcat 8. That's as much as I uh, really need. Tomcat can run completely independently of Eclipse. We are going to run it within Eclipse, but just to make sure that it's working, I'm going to go to uh, bin. And the file to start Tomcat is called Startup. If I click on that, I'm going to see something kind of annoying, which is that it pops up and goes away without much information. So at this point, I want to do what we'll do many times, and that is run Startup from the command line. Now, Startup is located in this directory, C Tomcat 8 bin. A quick way to open this directory in the command line is simply to go to the address bar, type CMD, and it takes us right to the command line. So I'm going to say Startup now and hit enter and what this will do is instead of going away immediately it will show me what the window is telling me or what, why it won't start up. In this case it's telling me the Java home environment variable is not set. So what I need to do is go to environment variables just by going to start and then uh, edit system environment variables then choose environment variables and I need to make one called Java home. So I'm going to choose new say Java underscore home Okay, and what's the variable name? Well, if you remember when we installed Java, I said we need to make it a path that's going to be easy to remember uh, because we're going to need it later. So let me navigate to C root, and then we're going to see uh, programs. And under programs, we're going to see Java. And um, honestly, JRE 1.8, this will most likely be good. We might need to go down to the bin directory, uh, but let's see uh, if this will work for us. So, boom, I paste, I choose OK, and OK. Now, one trick with Windows is that the command line does not refresh when you change environment variables. So, we're, to try this again, we're going to have to close this command window, go back to our uh, Tomcat startup directory, CMD one more time, and let's try start up again. Fingers crossed, and this is looking a little bit better. You see it's popping up a new window, and now Tomcat's starting up. I'm going to let this run for a little bit. We'll go ahead and say uh, allow access. Server start up in 2945 milliseconds. That's pretty fast. Let's see if we have some action here. So I'm going to say HTTP, and then we'll say localhost. The Tomcat, by default, the port will be 8080, and success is going to be a little um, Tomcat feather, so it looks like we're successful. So recap, what we did is we downloaded Tomcat, we uh, pulled it out into the C drive, unzipped it, basically copied it to the C drive, set the Java home, and then ran our startup. One thing I will do, because we know we're going to do this quite a bit, is I'm going to make a shortcut for startup and I'm going to move it to the desktop. And we'll just say, I'm going to rename this to Tomcat. Uh, startup won't make a whole lot of sense uh, out of context. So move it to the desktop. And the next thing that we'll do uh, in a future video is we're going to add this Tomcat setup to Eclipse. I will see you then.